Mr. B's doing housework, ain't ya? We need it. Yeah, the dust in here from the Riders Road. Oh, it's bad. I took something out of the bathroom cupboard and it was coated in grey dust. So the tide's in this morning. We had a bit of rain in the night. Nothing too drastic. Never kept us awake. We're just leaving the campsite now and we're back on the road. If you want to know what the campsite was, we filmed it on the last video. Um, I just wanted to address, because our video of us washing up in the river and that has just been on. And I've had a comment off someone who was concerned about detergents and stuff going in the natural water course and that. And I just wanted to say, well I have explained to her anyway, but I just wanted to explain to people who watch us. We didn't use detergent, we didn't use washing up liquid. Obviously we do if we hand wash in the motorhome, but we didn't there. We just went down, called on the washing up, and we wipe everything with kitchen roll anyway, because we don't like stinky stuff in the water tank, like food lumps and stuff. So everything gets wiped with kitchen roll, and then washed up anyway. But Carl just took the bowl of stuff down and washed it by hand in just the water. And then we've got like a coconut fibre. Yeah, like scare to wash up with that we use anyway, because we don't use bungees because they're bad for the environment. So, yeah, everything was done naturally. No detergent or anything in the water. We just used water while well, I'd done the washing and I just hadn't washed it and just done it in the water against the rock. And we done it that way and then rang it out and then put it on the line. So, you know, because if you're wild camping, you can't be caught putting chemicals and stuff in the water. Even with emptying your loo, you know, if you've got to go and do your business in the woods, take a shovel, dig a hole, bury it, and don't do that near a water course. You're not meant to. You know, you've got to think of the environment. And, you know, some people might have to use that water if they're proper wild camping to drink out of, well, to make drinks with. Plus, as well, you know, it's the impact on the environment. You've just got to be careful. You know, I did say on the video that I did just wash up with watery stuff, but it might not have come across properly. Yeah, we care about the environment. Yeah, we, we are really massive appreciate. with the environment. I mean, we try and not use plastic when we can. We don't. We don't even drink out of plastic bottles anymore. We only buy no. cans. And even our uh, dog poo bags are made of cornstarch. Yeah, cornstarch, bin liners, cornstarch, dog poo bags. Yeah. That's what we use. Yeah. So, just wanted to get that out of the way. And we'll get on with the day. Okay. See you in a bit. Carl's just been outside taking photos. Because we are now at Dundrennan Abbey. I've just booked my ticket between two and three. That shut at four. Six pound. Don't look as impressive as Furness Abbey. There goes my phone. But we shall see what it looks like in a bit won't we dear yes well i will then i will later when the drone comes up yeah when it's shot he's gonna get the drone up ain't and ya sneaky. no one's yeah, gonna know no one. to anybody <laughs> <laughs> so see you in a bit after we've had our cups of tea and coffee yeah monkey stinky coffee so I'm making my way into Dundrennan Abbey and it already looks very very nice I have to say I've discovered some steps let's have a look where these go to So this is Dundrennan Abbey. It was built in 1142 by Fergus of Galloway, who later became King David I of Scotland. And this is where Mary Queen of Scots spent her last night in Scotland after the Battle of Langside.
so that's Dundren and Abbey. The man who works here, who reminds me of John Bishop, he lives in the town and he said that the reason the graveyard is here is because it was used as a church for 200 years and obviously people got buried here and then a lot of the houses in the town were built from stone from the abbey including his house he said but yeah quite an impressive place really like it we've just left Dundrennan Abbey Carl was going to get the drone up but there's falcons nesting on the roof and I could hear them when I was filming so we're making our way to our next stop now on a windy road so we'll see you when we get there to where we were going to go to because Carl thought it looked like it was too overhanging with trees part of the way up the lane and it was a really tight single track lane so we've had to turn around at the bottom and as he's turned around he thinks he scrapes the back of the motor home on the wall I thought it was just the wheels on the gravel but we're trying to find somewhere to park up now to have a look so let you know when we find somewhere to stop That's the damage to the back of the bloody motor home. Oh, for God's sake, man. Don't even know who's going to do it. And the side. Smashed all the side in. The lorry was just bibbing us to tell us, but we were already looking for somewhere to pull over. Oh, look at that, man. Oh, it's always bloody summit. Everything was going really well as well. Oh. So it ain't good. But I've got to say, at least the locals are nice. Yeah. Ain't they, Yorks? Yeah. Had a nice man in a red pickup truck pull over us if we need any tools. Right, so we've moved down because uh, we're right by a bloody haulage yard here. So that's the damage there. If you can see that. Not good. That's completely hanging off. And then that's the side panel, bashed in and scraped. Which is that bit all the way down there, so that whole bit has got to be replaced. Great eye. So Carl's in the process of trying to fix it now. Temporary. Ain't you dear? Well yeah, temporary fix till we get home. Yeah. So we've got to have a new back panel and a new side panel. And like we've got the money for that, but we're just going to have to get it now, ain't we? Right pain in the arse. Yeah, how long is this going to take to get? The parts? Yeah. Ages? Yes. I know. Eight months, eight months. Oh, funny. Bet, yeah. You better not oh. take that long. Well, we'll see. Well, I'll get back to you in a bit, because I'm going to have to yeah, help him, I think. Light, that light's smashed. Great. Right, see you in a bit. So, bodged with cable toys for now. That's the best Carl can do with limited tools. At least we had them better than nothing. Right, the top red ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Right, so we're leaving this video there because Carl's, well, pissed off. Yes, I am. Yeah. So we're going to go to our next stop and we'll see you there in the morning when he's calmed down a bit and we're going to order the parts as well through WhatsApp. From Premier Towing. So that's that then. See you on the next one. Bye.